So, it's been uh, it's been uh, almost two weeks since we made our last level. So let's make another level. If you're very curious about my level design process, I literally don't know what I'm doing. And we're gonna have fun with that. I'm also gonna try to give myself a three hour time limit this time. If I go over three hours, and it's it's whatever. It's kind of just like a self goal. We're trying to be faster now. We're trying to be more efficient with the level design process. So let's begin right now. Starting off, I think we're gonna make a raccoon suit level. So we're trying to do some levels with the new stuff, and the raccoon's pretty cool. You can do some cool stuff with it, well, so we'll do that. Tata is also very cute. Look at her go. She's moving. Let's not do underground. Let's do, uh... I really want to do airship, but again, the problem is the screen scrolls up and down, so we might just do something else. As for difficulty, pit or passive, probably pit. Now let's actually make some stuff. I do like how this power up rolls though on the ground. Okay, it rolled away from me, that's pretty nice. We start with this, make you get the power up because if you don't, then it just falls and you can't be the little. Still like here. Uh, we'll do spikes, I guess. And then, we can also put a P block indicator so you know exactly where you need to land hit the acorn. So, I think it's like right here. No, one to the right. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, good progress. We're doing things, chat. So one thing I need to be careful of is the fact that you can just cling on walls in new soup. So unfortunately, a lot of these walls have to be either spikes or something, maybe pokies, mecha koopas. But yeah, wall jumping is something we have to look out for. But thankfully, with our new friend pokies, they're kind of like spikes but prettier. So let's just put some pokies. Alright, we have a foundation here. We got something cooking. Kind of a moderate fan. What we can do also is we can replace these with cloud blocks. I can also do icicles, but it feels weird having icicles just float in the, in the, in the air. Alright, I gotta do this. But I think I probably prefer cloud block. It looks moderately better. I guess we'll do add a slope here because slopes are good for preventing you from wall jumping constantly or for whatever reason getting height. So this will be nice. Slopes are be pretty pretty clutch. All right, cool. We're making some gains here. So now we have to Z instead of do a just a regular twirl. And you also get your dash back too, so we could do something with that. I'll try to use saws to a minimal amount. Try adding a potaboo here and see what the timing looks like. The other thing I can do is I can use other power-ups as like pseudo spikes because I guess I'll make you finish with the acorn power-up and this one right here will be the only one you get. So if you collect any other power-up then you can't beat the level. So I guess we can do that. Get some fire flowers out here, be like what up? You know, you're just trying to say hi. 
So I'm gonna add an indicator here. This means to twirl. So you twirl and then grab the power up. So I wanna see what this looks like real quick. Okay, so what's gonna happen, alright? So we have an on-off switch here, and it's gonna make something fall. I don't know what, but it'll make something fall, and then you have to land on it as it falls. We're gonna make an icicle fall. Yeah, that's what's gonna fall, and you have to land on it. Actually, I don't know how possible this is, but we're gonna find out right now. You know, that actually kind of worked surprisingly well. To be completely honest with you. We do need some more indicators though, so let's bring out the uh, P-Block and put it right there. Let's put some coin kind of directional things. Like that. Same thing here. Okay, we're gonna hit this with a mild nerf. Mainly to also keep it consistent-ish. I also kind of want to make something fall instead of this icicle. Icicle makes it a little, a little rough. It's like a little bit of an icicle. Nice, we're making some schmoovin'. Pretty hype about that. I wonder if we can bring out the Mecha Koopa shooting lasers. How do these guys work? Like, what di what dictates if they're gonna shoot? Oh, it's proximity based, it appears. Alright, then we found their range, kind of. So, they activate if you're within four, I guess five blocks below them. I don't really care about above right now. Very interesting, though. There we go, okay. I guess that's that works. So that forces you to go fast down because I don't want you just to glide. I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to do something here. I'm gonna try to get, I'm gonna try to make you go back on the wall twice. So you have to activate this ice skill then go back to the wall, but I don't know how possible this is gonna be. Oh, I forgot I can't go back. I can't get my double dash back. Okay, we're gonna not do this, I guess. What else do you have to work with? Okay, I wanna instead, let's bring out a pipe here. With a piranha plant. Actually, that won't work. Oh wait, no, it will work. I just gotta give it wings. Make it a red pipe so it's very fast. Let's make it a big boy. Cool. Now we can make that do something somehow. We're gonna make you do this. Yes. Get the 10 coin for the fans. Ooh, look at 
looking good. I'm gonna make a little bill launcher fall, I guess. this properly. Can use a blowy joy. We're gonna try like a, a cannonball. That actually kind of works. <laughs> kind of want this to be a little different. I can do an on-off switch, but I think you hit it more than once if you just test real quick. Maybe I'll just do an on-off switch. That might work. So when you hit it three times, the switch will bring something down that will allow you to hit. Bounce off of it. I guess for now we'll do a Goombrat. Wow, I'm actually really surprised that that worked. I'm more surprised that that worked even though I misaligned the Goombrat. Actually, wait a minute. Wait just a minute here. Pokies exist. You're right. Whoa! Did you know Pokies exist in this game? Look at you, Gino is such a smart person. Wow. Or I'm just dumb. Me, I think I'm just dumb. Alright, so now we have a Muncher that'll drop and kill the Pokey when you hit the switch three times. There's our solution. Wow. Wow! What if I just do this? <laughs> The way I usually indicate it is I put like a like a stack of moles. The other thing I can do is do this. There. Now there's your three. Okay, so now I just had a little dash right here. Alright, we're making some gains here. So I don't want there to be two moles here because I want you to hit switch and then go back. Alright, so there's gonna be an ice school here, and there's gonna be an on-off over it. <laughs> so, and you can't hit the on-off until the ice school goes away, so... some error here. I guess we'll go back to the classic pokey main setup. Okay, so now the on-off switch state is going to be in the off state, so that means this has to be like this. And then we're gonna put a muncher here. And then also gonna put a one way gate. Alright, we're making games. I guess I should also put it here because I forgot. This doesn't matter, but I'll do it here just in case as well.
All right, dude, it's time we bring out the shell nannies. It's time to bring out the shell shenanigans. All right, I wonder if this is gonna work. This idea in my head may not work, but, you know, that's why it's in my head. All right, so you can actually cancel your upward momentum with a ground pound, so that's what we're gonna do here, kind of. And then you get your dash back. So we'll put a nice little ground pound arrow, ground pound cancel. Just like that. Then we'll put some ceiling danger up here. You probably tell the resemblance from this and that one part in Beyblade Bay Blitz that I made. Definitely see the resemblance, right? Well, I have a falling thwomp here, so you can't spend so much time waiting, dilly-dallying. This is like literally the part in Beyblade Blitz. <laughs> it's literally the same. You know what to say about that? Whatever. <laughs> I'm stealing ideas from myself, it's fine. It's fine, dude, everything's fine. Should probably add practice doors. I'm gonna probably add practice doors. So now you can practice. Okay, this should work. So there's one practice door. I'll put another one over here. Two practice doors. Whoa. Look at me. Okay, I think that worked. That one works. Oh, I have an idea. Um, I had this idea earlier. But you like pick up a bomb, right? You need to like pick it up and throw it. And you have to yeet yourself into it. Well, you actually recatch it. What if I make you throw it twice? And then the bomb lands here and does something. Okay, so this actually kind of works relatively well, believe it or not. There we go. A nice little saw here. It's starting to look like something. 
Oh, I forgot I can add aesthetics. So now the saw is not, this, the saw is not flowing in the air. So looking a little less not bad. Hell yeah. We do need the on off switch for the bomb to activate. Maybe I'll have the falling bullet bill launcher here. Now let's get a slope here so you can't wall jump off. We're just gonna do the last part, which is the key door. Snake block. We haven't had a snake block in a while. I'll make the snake block go directly to the keyboard. be blue. How do I anti-cheese my levels? I just pray. Cheese stuff now, I guess. <laughs> That's a rough jump, dude. Alright, so people stop asking. I'm doing now. There, now we added the clear condition, so everyone can stop asking. I'll sing it for last, because I don't like seeing the stupid clear condition message every time I start over. But I'm not starting over, so I guess it doesn't matter. Fine, I'll hit him with the THX. Everyone likes the THX. You know what? Good enough for me. <laughs> my level, I don't care what any of you think. This is this is my this is how I'm doing the THX. Okay, then I think I'll have one more practice store. Alright, we got three practice doors for the fans. Alright, here's here we got here we go. For the fans. Alright, now for the dev pipe real quick. We pretty much finished the main world. It took a little over three hours, but you know what? 
Actually, wait, we're not done yet. I have to add one more red coin. So there, you have practice stores because you can't enter the door without the key. And you can't get the key without getting all the red coins. And you can't get all the red coins unless you start from the very beginning. Big brain. Alright, for that pipe, we're gonna do some, some weird nannies here. So we're gonna just do this. I just have to exa I just have to basically flip this now. All right, this should be good. Now I just have to copy this and make sure it's in the right spot. here. Oh, that's perfect, actually. And now... And now here's the pipe. And this pipe is just a troll. Maybe you piggy, though. Alright, there we go. So if you get to this pipe, then nothing happens. I'm not even going to make you see the goal, because no one's going to make it that far. So yeah. Here's the dev route. Have fun with that. All right, now we're done. All these saws are uh, good. We even have a THX. And we are going to now make the title and description. I really wanted to do acorn aerobics, but I don't know if it'll fit. Oh, it'll fit. Nice, big fan. Okay, next step, I'm gonna actually make two adjustments. Okay, never mind, I'm not making any adjustments. You've got this. I was just gonna add a 50 coin and then add a spike, but I guess those aren't happening. It wasn't really gonna make a difference. The 50 coin was just gonna be like for the fans, and then the spike was just gonna make you die faster, but it's fine. Free practice store boost that P switch box. Yes. And uh the classic Boss battle link. I guess all my all my uh now my level's not art, dude. <laughs> Steamed and technical. Oh yeah, say hi to YouTube, of course, the classic. So there we go, Pita Pepanga Acorn Aerobics. Last but not least. The thing everybody's most excited for is the dev pipe, which I haven't tested fully, so we'll find out uh, how it is. So you guys ready for the dev pipe? Every level I have a dev pipe, and I can't beat the level myself, so I have to put this in. Oh god. God.
All right, I give up. I, it is possible to get to here. I've done it before. But basically, this is what the dev room looks like. Just imagine having to do what I did, I don't know how many times, 20? And then you get to this pipe and it doesn't even take you to the end. It, it takes you nowhere. So yeah, that, that's our dev room. Good luck getting to the bottom. If you get to the bottom, I will give you a prize, which is my love. Yeah.